Hi y'all, Merry Christmas. Before we get into today's video, we have a giveaway. It's Tacovas, a pair of Tacovas boots. We're actually gonna be matching because these are for me. And then um, we'll have a pair of boots for you. Why can I not speak? So I'm partnering with Tacovas to give away a pair of these boots. They're actually the nicest women's boots that they have. I've never had a pair. Well, I mean, I had a pair of Tacovas. I've never had this pair. They're all Python. They just really elevate your everyday. Like these are nice boots. Tacovas told me that they are the most luxurious pair of boots that they have to date for women. Oh my God. I mean, they're beautiful. I cannot even like, oh my God, guys, they're so so stunning. They're just the perfect boot. Oh my god. I love them. They're so cool. So we're giving it away. This is a giveaway for my subscribers. All you have to do is follow at Kovas on Instagram, follow Kenzie Elizabeth on Instagram, and then comment below your favorite video of this year and then what videos you guys want to see in the new year. I'm thinking about doing less weekend my life vlogs and more theme vlogs. So like an entire vlog setting up my garden, an entire vlog, like an hour long vlog hosting a dinner party start to finish. Like I'm thinking about heading into that direction. I just feel like I've been in a lull. We've been doing week in my life for so long that maybe we should spice it up. One lucky winner will be announced a week from today on Instagram. Please leave your handle in the comment below so we can DM the winner. I'm so excited. These boots are so stunning and they're very pricey, honestly guys. So. They're more expensive than the other ones too. Keep that in mind. So anyways, if you guys want your first pair of cowboy boots or just to add to your collection, this is how I love y'all. I think I'm gonna be doing more giveaways in the next year just because why not? Like it's kind of fun. And we can match. So um, best of luck. And I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. Hi y'all, welcome to another week in my life vlog. This is a good one. We're booked, we're busy, we're throwing Christmas parties. I'm about to go to my driver appointment. This lip oil, I think it's from Mara, is that how you say it? It's actually not a lip oil, it's a lip balm, it's so good. So I have dry bar and then I'm stopping at the Woolworth to make a TikTok for them. Picking up Carly, my editor, who's going to be in town for the next like 48 hours basically, helping me with recordings tomorrow. We have another event that I'm not sure if we're gonna go to and we're just, we're, we're doing the whole thing. First off, I drank this weekend and I haven't been drinking more than like two drinks in a really long time honestly I like my life with less alcohol we had fun but it just like sets you on a spiral I drank an iced coffee and I had literally two sips of it and it's a, a iced coffee that I know doesn't make me feel great I don't know why I drink it literally two sips and I'm like anxiety attack oh my god so not the best but I'm getting my hair blown out for my recordings tomorrow but yeah if y'all are new here subscribe welcome to another week in my life recipe journals have restocked everything is on the Instagram so I'm literally doing like deep breathing exercises like <sighs> I got my blowout. I'm about to go to Woolworth really quickly with Macy. I have Jamie Kern Lima's like advanced reader's copy. I'm having her on the podcast. Her new book is launching in February. I've had her on twice already. It's one of the best episodes ever. And I just want to say like, it was so good. I'm like 25% of the way through and I was like holding back tears in dry bar. And like, yeah, it could be that I'm like very anxious today, but honestly, like I really just think it's the book. It's so good. So pre-order it. I like pre-order it. It is a must. We're going. in so long. When's the last time? February 20... or LA maybe. Oh yeah. Yeah. Don't have Anyways, um, Carly's in town for today basically. She, oh, she's my editor. She's working as a producer today. She doesn't, she's a jack of all trades. So I have some recordings that we're doing, just some other like random work stuff. What's what we should have watched last night with Martha Stewart's masterclass. I know. Masterclass. I just was like so tired yesterday. I've been doing brain code, the thing that I've been doing where I do like the brain exercises and they told me like, just so you know, you're going to be really tired after you do these. And I was like, okay, I sit there and watch Gilmore Girls and they like zap things into my brain. Like I think I'll be fine. Um, no, I was so tired. I got home, I worked out, and then I went there and I got home. My body was like weak. It was rough. And then I had 
coffee and then it gave me an anxiety attack so it was really like not my day 809 i guess we could watch probably like one of the martha things put it on in the background go over our day i'm back using my really cute texas mug from texas treasures Operation Get Kenzie a Truck is fully in, what's what I'm waiting for? Happening? Commending? I don't know. By the way, my set is Urban Outfitters. I did some Instagram stuff for them, and I got like some of the cutest stuff. My pajamas that I'm wearing tomorrow also at Urban for my Christmas party. They have like a really cute like brown sequin set. They have bow candles. So anyways, this is not sponsored. I'm just a huge fan. Um, McGuire is coming in from Oklahoma today, and we're shooting that episode which is all about like creating your dream career. Nicole and Alexis and I are doing like a New Year's thing. It's gonna be a good, good day. And then Carly and I are just like doing a whole 2024 plan after this basically. Oh, I'm also gonna make Ina Garden's engagement chicken tonight and a new side dish from a new recipe or a new cookbook journal. What am I saying? Recipe journal? A new cookbook I got from her. So that's going to be very exciting. It's a very good day at home. I need to get on this call in like two minutes. But I have a call at GMC and we're gonna figure some things out on like what I actually want with the truck because I really just need it for like my garden and my life and my house and everything so but like I'm just a girl I don't need like the most like the biggest truck you've ever seen you know I set up my table for my Christmas party tomorrow it's not a dinner table part it's not a dinner party it's just like cute and I have this and then I have the other like ones outside you guys don't care but the tablecloth wasn't big enough so anyways I like split them up and I think this is gonna be gifts maybe or this is gonna I don't even know it might just be like the vibe there and then we'll do gifts out there and like food in the kitchen or something. I also ordered a GoPro today to do like overhead shots. So updates to come guys. The vlogs are about to be like cinematic masterpieces. All right, y'all, it's much later. We finished the recordings for the day. Very, very productive day. I'm going to cook us dinner. I'm making the Ida Garden engagement chicken. The chicken that I love, it's a roast chicken. And it's my first time being able to use my new roasting pan that I just bought. Oh my God, it looks stunning. I got this one on Amazon only for like 60 something dollars and these can get really expensive. And this is the one that my mom has. Look at how stunning. I'll have it linked in my Amazon storefront, but this chicken is so good and it's not hard to make literally at all. I have it um, written down in my recipe journal, obviously, which are restocked by the way, by the time you guys are watching this. So we're gonna obviously start off with butcher box. I'm not gonna film this because a lot of you guys get like grossed out, but you guys will get the vibe today. Um, and then I'm also gonna make couscous with peas and mint and it like sounds really good. So it's gonna be a great dinner. I'm really looking forward to this. And then Carly and I are gonna have a very productive night of planning our world takeover. It's gonna be good. Hopefully Martha Stewart master class at some point, but I'm importing all the footage from today. We recorded two new episodes for January and they're gonna be very good. I'm very excited. goes over here just like happy as possibly can be. She, does anyone else's dog do this though? Like she takes her food and eats it elsewhere. But there she is, so happy. Guys, amazing, amazing news. My sauna. Oh my God, it's been set up, but we have to like, gotta work with some electrician things. So also this shelving unit is supposed to be all the way over there, 
but when he like put it back after doing the new floors that we installed, it's moving. It needs to be all the way over there. It does not look good. And then it can like go in more. Oh my God, so exciting. And then I'll move the treadmill over a little bit, but like, oh my God. I literally cannot wait. And I can watch TV through here. Oh my God, wow. I can't wait till this is all organized. Like, it's way more organized than it was before, believe it or not. Yeah, but I need to like, then my cool punch will hopefully go here. And then I'm gonna have a bunch of just like gardening stuff there. But I have too many, like I can't get the air out of my pool floats, <laughs> which is like been way harder than you would think. I just have so many extra like boxes and stuff that I don't need, but I'm giving some of these to my grandma. So like they'll be gone. I don't even really need these shelves. Uh -huh. Like if I wanted more space, I could just get rid of these shelves and sell them and, yeah. get, and move the boxes upstairs, which I feel like I'm gonna end up doing because I really do like these shelves. They're very nice. Yeah. Or I could at least get rid of one of them. Mm -hmm. Have more space. What do you guys think? I feel like I mean I have two massive attics. I feel like I'm just gonna get rid of this this shelving unit and just keep this or something. Good morning, y'all. Happy Wednesday. I just dropped Carly off at the airport. I'm at Love Field and I'm heading to a workout. We had a very great productive time. Dinner was so good last night. And gosh, I just I don't know what it is, but like I'm like so exhausted this week. Like hormonally exhausted, you know what I mean? Um, we had a really good time and now I'm on my way to my workout. I have a couple appointments today. I have a lot of work that I need to do. I'm hosting a Christmas party tonight that I'm really ill prepared for, which is unlike me. I did set the table and decorate that already. So I think I'm gonna be fine. I am gonna make like a little Christmas spritz thing and then what else are we gonna do? I have a cheese board coming. I think I wanna make a couple other appetizers. And then we're doing like white elephant and all the things. So it's gonna be fun. I hope you guys like the GoPro footage so far. I'm gonna set up places in my house where like the GoPro will be. I wear my cute little brown ear bar set. Ear bar is like really my favorite active wear. It's just the best, that and set active. Like I said, I've been so tired and this is probably why I'm so tired today. It's definitely why. It was like 10 and we had done all of our like brainstorming session and I was like, I didn't go to bed, I'm so tired, okay? I go to bed at 10. I start reading The Surrogate Mother. I had only read like 30% the day before and I just got like hooked into the book and I needed to know it was another Freedom McFadden thriller. I don't know why I'm like obsessed with thrillers right now in December. I should be reading cute cozy books, but I'm just like in the mood for thriller. And I finished it. Like I finished the entire book. So I stayed up very late last night for me to finish my book. Um, and I liked it. It's not like my favorite of hers ever, but like I just like needed to know, you know? Okay, y'all. Oh, what is going on here? Huh. Okay, I don't know what that was about. If y'all have good recs. Oh my gosh, guys. Ignore the light, but I'm getting rid of this shelving unit, so I'm gonna list it on Facebook Marketplace. All these boxes are going to the attic, and then this is gonna move up. That's gonna move over there. The lighting is really bothering me. So I'm gonna go ahead and move it. This is the last thing I should be doing today, but of course this is, you know, what I'm doing. Okay, we're making some serious progress, thank God. I'm on my way to Brain Codes again. I'm hoping I'm not exhausted after today. We're also doing a little like symptoms tracker so we can see like how I'm feeling and how I feel like everything is going. I will link it below because they explain it better there. And if you are like me and you're into like health and wellness and optimization therapy, more specifically therapy, I would really recommend 
brain goes. It's very interesting. It's, it's similar to my spec scan, but with this, it's more practical. And like the idea is that I do this training for six months and it's like rewiring my brain. You're not supposed to be in this training for the rest of your life. With the like talk therapy, you're, you know, kind of in it forever off and on. It's basically like fixing my brain is how I would describe it. I want to have um, one of them on the podcast to talk all about it because it's so interesting to me. But I think today is my like fourth session and I do this for six months. Finding rosemary this time of year is so difficult. This is why I need my herb garden. The party is ready. I normally would rather die before using like plastic cups at this point in my life because I love obviously glassware and like I think all this is ugly and I should pour it into different pitchers. But honestly, it's a very chill Christmas party and I need to be less controlling and like I'm having people bring stuff anyways. So it's not like I can control what everything, you know what I mean? Like I'm not, I don't have enough pictures for like everything. You guys get what I'm saying, okay? This is from Swell by the way. They sent me a bunch of their stuff and I love it. Obviously I've got some leftover Abilene wine. People are bringing things. My cheese board is from La Tablera and they are the best cheese boards in Dallas in the sweetest woman run business. So if y'all are ever looking for a cheese board in Dallas, let me know. This is for a game, like we don't need to talk about it. I have all my holiday candles going, I had Christmas music going, my tree is going out there. There's, listen, like I don't know why it's so dark. I mean, I do know, cause it's obviously nighttime, but I have that out there. I mean, we're probably not even gonna sit out there, but just to like have something, you know? And then over here, we've got our little white elephant table, which I thought was really cute. This is my white elephant gift, which I also thought was really cute. I just grabbed, well, it was supposed to be all bows because we're doing like a favorites thing version of white elephant. So basically like bring your favorite product or whatever you own under $30. So I was going to do a bunch of hair bows. So I had this because this set is only $10 linked on my Amazon storefront and the other ones. But somehow the other ones ended up getting back ordered. So I ended up just grabbing like for my PR. It's over $30, but it was free to me. So I feel like it's gonna be fine. And um, then I just like decorated it with these bows. Like I taped them as decor and they're also hair bows. How cute. And then obviously Fitz is gonna be dressed up as the Grinch. He's really excited. And I have more candles going. Good news, the sauna is good to go, it's ready. And my sister just made my hair appointment tomorrow. So I was getting like stressed just because this time of year just is a busy time of year and I need to be able to edit a ton tomorrow. So I'm gonna be able to do that and stay home and be cozy and go in the sauna and just like have a day, like have a day to myself, honestly. That's really what I need. Um, it's really dark in the garage, so I'll try to show y'all. Oh, it's still on, guys. I don't know how I'm supposed to turn this on. <gasps> no way. I didn't realize that was motion sensor. We also, oh, okay, that is so annoying, guys. Okay, this is better. I've added some things. It's looking better. I hate popping champagne. Like, it literally gives me anxiety. Where's my... I have lost all volume that I ever had in my hair. I never really had volume. Okay, here we go. Ready? Gotta hit 
this is a mess. <laughs> I know it's fine, but like I'm so scared. Of course, of course that happens. Guys, I do just wanna say, like hosting is expensive regardless. Like even like not doing meals and just doing like, even like I went to go print things out and all this stuff. So I really want to next year like create content around like hosting uh, like for like under a hundred dollars. Like, you know what I mean? Like doing it on like, a budget. Um, let me know if you guys would be interested in that. But it adds up, I'm not gonna lie. But I'm also not the like, Smart it. Like you don't have to do a lot of the stuff that I do. I'm making a little spritz. Prosecco. Like I honestly just really, I really hope for the best. I should probably look this up. I've literally never made this one. Aperol. Next up, cranberry juice. Next up, club soda. Let's see. It tastes pretty good, honestly. Okay, we're gonna add a little lemon in there and a little rosemary. Cheers, everyone. She's coming over to saw it. I should have her glass ready for her. This is gonna be a mess. First morning in the sauna. Yes, I always use my candle in. Um, and it's fine. Where did I put the remote? Over here? This is so exciting. Wow! It's only 115 right now. That's okay. Do you have a towel? I forgot to put a towel to sit on, but. Where is it? I'll get you one. Um, in the guest bathroom, okay. it's like on the floor thing. Now it's 1.13, it's really not warm enough. It'll get hot. <gasps> 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 tell me jokes, entertain me. I literally don't have any. Macy, uh, can you tell me a story? I miss Ballard, distract me. Macy, you're not very good at this. Where'd my towel go? Is that behind you? Yeah. <laughs> You're sick. You have a minute left. Still? Yeah. Did you press it? Yeah. I even started the timer like before you got in. That's crazy. Honestly, when I do this myself and I listen to a podcast, I li on it gets easier when you just sit here and you don't move. Dumb or even a word? Yeah. More dumb? Yeah. 
I got some action shots too. I think I'm gonna add gardening into my morning routine. I know I told you that yesterday, I've been really thinking about it though. Yeah. Because I think it's gonna be good for me. Yeah. Good morning, y'all. I'm wearing my new coat from Cezanne. Yesterday, I saunaed and I worked. I had to get so much work done. I had to get like a lot of editing and stuff done. Today's Friday. Um, I just stopped and got coffee. It's like 7 a.m. Sophie, my niece, has a... Actually, I'm wondering, is this any of y'all's first video that you've watched of mine? I'm curious. Sophie's my niece, and she has a Christmas recital today. I don't think it's even like that. I don't know how big of a deal this thing is, but I got her flowers. How cute. Um, I had to just get some at Target and there was no like, I hate when you give it in this wrapping, you know? There was no like, whatever. That's a good thing to have at home, actually, in my hosting closet. Like, flower wrapping with the brown paper. I know it's like newspaper and stuff, but like have it cut. Um, or like prepped. Anyways, I'm on my way. I got my coffee and back to, I got Starbucks because my Keurig wasn't working this morning. I don't know what was going on with that. But iced coffee, no classic, two pumps, pumpkin, I mean, two pumps peppermint, uh, splash of cream. It's so good. It's like my holiday Christmas order. And then I'm gonna go get breakfast with my mom after. I think Alexis will probably have to go back to work. So I think it will just be me and my mom. I'm so excited. Being an aunt is literally my favorite thing in my entire life. Like, it is the best part of my life, by far. Hi y'all, I just got back and it's Friday afternoon. I'm gonna record a little antique haul from things that I got and then I'm gonna go record for someone else's podcast and then it's the weekend. So we're ending off the vlog with an antique haul. I got the best stuff. So we went to downtown McKinney, which is crazy because growing up, like my parents, I mean, I'm from McKinney by the way, which is a suburb of Dallas. My mom and my grandma would always go like antiquing. At one point they had a store downtown because my mom and my grandma had like a wet, like a bedding and draperies business. So we also had like a shop downtown. I spent a lot of time there in my childhood. And I used to dread going antiquing with them. And now it's like all I ever want to do is go antiquing. Like if I'm like, what do I want to do today? It's literally antiquing. We brought Sophie with my niece and she wanted to kill me. So I bribed her with candy at the mom and pop's shop, which is the cutest thing ever. I just think I'm so used to downtown McKinney because I grew up there, but it literally is like a Hallmark movie, especially the holidays. Like, I hate that Macy just left today for a month. I hate that we didn't do that for Christmas because this morning it was literally straight up a Hallmark movie. Like, videos don't even do it justice. Anyways, um, so I got this dish set. This is the first thing, and I love it. So a small dessert dish and then just a normal dish. I think I'm actually going to make these my everyday plates. I love my house so much, but it's so, as you guys can see, modern. And that's why I made, like, my office is so not modern. And, like, I, my goal is to make my bedroom not modern at all. So, um, I'm just adding pieces throughout that just, like, spark joy. Like, I want cute, cozy, like, eclectic things. So, I got four of the mini ones. I got the rest of them of what they had, basically. And then seven of the big plates. 
We went to the antique mall, by the way, and they just had the best stuff. My mom got a really sick, like, sled. My mom has a great quilt collection, and I wanted one, so these you just uh, literally keep forever. And I just thought it was really cute. It was 85 for a quilt. Let me know what you guys think. The other ones that I've seen, I feel like that's just, like, a borderline a really good price, honestly, because these can get really pricey. But I just thought it was really cute, and then here we go, and I'll collect them and then put them in my drawers then i'm always pulling up blankets obviously you use them all the time i'm such a blanket girl though like i'm never in my house without one i got three cute little ornaments i thought these were like fun and like older looking which is what i wanted also the people that were working there were so nice um oh this you guys will love if you don't like anything in this you'll love this because it's just so me this little cowboy print i don't know where i'm gonna put it in the house like i would like to even put it in the kitchen i have this other print that carly brought me that was just i love it so much and this is perfect for the kitchen especially in the spring and summer <gasps> wait i kind of like this vibe i need to i have a frame that will fit this so i need to figure out where i'm gonna put this because that i'm gonna end up moving just thinking out loud here i want to put this size wise and see how i feel about it i mean it's not supposed to be there for, i mean it, it could be i just need to change the print behind it and figure that out so anyways love both of those and then i have these four books i just thought this was a cute little print this obviously country savvy incredible love the artwork and then these are just kind of like antique looking books and i just you always need like antique looking books when you go also like I said, I grew up going antiquing and I hated it, but the one way that, that such a, this is such a lame, loser story, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, but they would bribe me with Nancy Drew books, right? So I would go to the antique malls with them and they would have like antique Nancy Drew books. If you guys haven't read Nancy Drew, you did it when you were younger, they obviously have new like versions of them, but I would always get the antique ones and my mom got rid of them and I just can't believe she did that. And they had them at the antique store today and I was like, oh my God, they're so cute. I almost, honestly, I really... I was kind of in a rush at that point, but I really should have gotten one just, like, to, like, go. You know what I mean? But, anyways, for nostalgia. You know, I'm all about nostalgia. Everything about my life is, like, healing my inner child without it. Like, not really, but, like, I feel like so much of what I do was, like, me as a kid, you know? Guys, is it going to be weird if I wear a coat on a podcast? Because I'm going on the podcast and I feel like I literally have to wear this or else my outfit will look weird. And my hair, I'll redo this is rain so anyways i'm so thrilled with my purchases i'm going to wash all my dishes i love them so much i just think that they're perfect and get back to work for the day sophie's performance this morning was amazing i had a good, fabulous morning with my mom and her so i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog stay tuned next week is the week before christmas in real time and it's the last week that I'm vlogging of the year and I'm doing all the festive things. So it's going to be like a very cozy vlog. Stay tuned. Subscribe. Love y'all. Enter the Jacobas giveaway, guys. You want them. Also, I thought I ruined my suede boots. I didn't. Thank God. For me, I think I like went on this glow up journey mm -hmm. from losing a lot of weight to getting a following on accident on social media. So it thank wasn't you, like Cooper. this. Yes. Thank <laughs> at Cooper T. Dave. <laughs> Everything I have, I credit to Cooper and even fitness. Like he lost a lot of weight and that was his journey to become a world champion, which is a whole nother bull riding thing. But 